Robin Hood is a television show that is frankly difficult to explain or uh, even really describe, frankly. It is probably the single wokest piece of entertainment ever produced, full stop, and thus in turn it is also the single most racist piece of entertainment, taking Robin Hood, Robin of Loxley of England, and turning it into a black woman living in Sherwood Towers, high rises, that are currently under threat from Prince John, the white guy who lives in an obsidian tower with the Sheriff of Nottingham, a white woman, who will kick her subordinates in the guts so that he has a bruise to report that was inflicted on him by the urban youth. Police officers that will shoot black people for just no reason whatsoever. Just boom. It is unbelievable. And not to mention also Saint Floyd in the role of Richard the Lionheart. <laughs> is this... This is a show and a half right here, and the ratings reflected a 1.0. 1.0 out of 10. This has act. Th this must. This must be some sort of record, surely. And this is on IMDb, and this is where the interesting part comes into play. Because Robin Hood merely being an absolutely awful show. Well, it's. <laughs> It's race warped Robin Hood. What did you expect? But no, no, no. Now, IMDb, owned by Amazon, of course, needs to come in and defend it, you see, because it is, again, one of the wokest and most racist shows ever, meaning that it's, uh, it's fairly in Amazon's camp. So, first up here, we have from uh, a couple of Amazon insiders, Robin Hood TV series 2023 was reported for low ratings, even weighted averages 1.1. So this is a support ticket asking the team to look into what this is and why. And then we have a conversation here. Uploaded the top 10 accounts that rated across blah blah blah. Let me know if I can provide anything additional given the low ratings. I do not recommend an RRC at this time, as it would put that title closer to a 6-ish rating which would be out of general sentiment and likely to drive PR interests. Aha! So, I'm not entirely sure what the RRC thing is, but it sounds as if it is either a mass banning of accounts making votes on the TV show, or using bots to artificially inflate the title on the positive side of things, as the reason why they are not doing this is because the show is so bad and so badly rated that if Amazon steps in and artificially fixes the ratings, it will be obvious and become a PR issue. In other words, people like me are going to talk about it. Well. A bit too late there, but oh well. Let's move on to the next comment here. As per my email on Monday, when this was first reported, this is not caused by sock puppets. These are votes from real users. There are 2,000 votes and 735 are from already shadow banned users. So uh, Amazon and IMDb are shadow banning people, which we already knew, but it's nice to have it officially confirmed, isn't it? We can do a dump of users based on cross-rated titles, but with over 90% of the votes being ones and twos, I don't think more banned users are going to move the needle. Fact is, almost everyone voting on this, for whatever reason, is down voting it. There are not enough people voting in the other direction to make a difference. At this point, the only option would be an RRC, which again, I'm not sure what is, but bearing in mind that this guy too is saying that one, these are not fake users. This is not being brigaded, which incidentally goes against the statement of the show's producer, Director X, who claims that his show is being review bombed by racist bigots. Well, according to Amazon and IMDb, no, your show just really, really, really sucks. <laughs> Imagine that. But even if they start banning people, it still will not be enough because people are hating it that much. There are simply not enough positive uh, reviews to make up for the absolutely overwhelming negative ones. The last comment then says, Took a quick look at cross-rated titles and I see a lot of overlap on titles targeted in the past. Examples, Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, She-Hulk, Velma, The Little Mermaid, etc. Let me know if it would be helpful to pull a list of those counts that are rated across 
titles. So now Amazon and IMDb have given up on trying to save Robin Hood. It is simply too unpopular. But now they will cross-rate people who negatively voted on The Little Mermaid, Rings of Power, and this, and brand them all racist bigots, and shadow ban them, at least, or simply just straight up remove their comments at worst, as Amazon here, talking behind the scenes and IMDb, stating clearly that if you give a negative review to one of their work shows, they will yeet your ass off their site so you can't interfere with their social engineering. And these are not randos, by the way. This is a risk manager and a principal product manager at IMDB talking here. Obviously, I'm not going to reveal any names or anything here so as to not try and endanger my sources, of course. But this is straight from IMDB. This is them saying they will ban you, they are already banning you, and they are right now working on yet further lists to ban even more people who have the incorrect political opinions. In other words, IMDB is not a review site, IMDB is a tool of social engineering and propaganda. That is what it is, which is attempting to push the political agenda of its parent company, which considering they are doing so in favor of an unfathomably racist piece of television like Robin Hood, well, we know exactly what those agendas are, don't we? Now, again, this is in many ways a bit of an open secret. We saw it with Rings of Power, where they locked reviews for, uh, what was it, two weeks or something absurd like that? Whilst also de-ranking and outright removing reviews and only showing you positive reviews, to the point where you could not search and see the negative reviews. IMDB is a scummy-ass website. And we've known that for quite some time. But now we have the evidence and the proof. And they are doing it specifically to protect woke titles. As they mention, Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, She-Hulk, Wilma, The Little Mermaid, and now Robin Hood. Well, 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 I am DB. Not that I expect you to do anything about this, since you're, of course, doing this in full public. You don't feel bad about it. Nobody's asking any questions. You are merely wondering if... Oh, God. It, it would be bad PR. It would, it would drive PR interests if we were seen to interfere so blatantly. That is, that is their only concern here. There's, there's not a moment where they're going, Oh, yeah, this is a bit dodgy. Like... We shouldn't be making ban lists, right? No, no, it's simply matter of fact saying, uh, yeah, no, sadly, these, these are real accounts. We've already, we've got 2,000 on them, a list, 700 plus are already shadow banned. I mean, more banning wouldn't help. We've got we've to come up with something other than banning here to push our agenda whilst bearing in mind the PR implications, which again, I stress once more, the, the director of this show, Director X, who is a very progressive individual himself, has gone out publicly and said that his show is being review bombed by racists and bigots, etc. Well, it turns out, um, no. These are actual people who disagree with your own racism. These are normal, average day people who are looking at a terrible TV show, downrating it to the point where even the powers that be cannot save your absolutely awful, awful television show. That must sting, mustn't it? That must really, really sting. Oh well then. What can be done about this now? Well, uh, you know, beyond the simple ha-ha drama funnies of it, what can be done? Uh, probably honestly nothing. Seriously, like this is, this is the powers that be. This is the they that we are talking about. The them, the, the pop. Literally, the people that are trying to push the agenda. We keep saying it, there are outside forces manipulating the narrative. Here you have it, yet again, proven for the umpteenth goddamn time. Will anything be done by it? No, because this is the company itself doing it. It's not rogue employees, it's the company. But do see this and let it stiffen your resolve. 
because even with all of the institutional powers rallying against us, arrayed in opposition to us, we can still win. And that's a nice thing. Until next time, I've been Arch. Thank you all very much for watching, and I do hope to see you all again soon. Until then, have a good day.